Hello I am Art Invader and welcome to my tutorial. Maybe you already know me. I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post my art and short tutorials on my social media channels. Feel free to check them out. You can find the link in the caption. I want to turn my passion into a profession. Therefore it would be nice if you support me on Patreon. There you will find the project files to my YouTube tutorials. For a small financial surcharge, you also get access to my 3D models, which I use in my art. Thank you for your help. Today I will show you how to create this fluid tribal animation. In the first part of the video, I show you how to create the tribal in Adobe Illustrator. In the second part of the video, I will show you how to create the animation in Cinema 4D. In the bonus part of the video, I will show you how I edit my animations with Adobe After Effects. Let's get started arties. First open Adobe Illustrator. Either draw a tribal yourself or take a graphic from the internet. If you take a graphic from the internet, paste the image inside the drawing area. Then press the redraw button in the top bar. When you are satisfied with the result, press the convert button. If you move the graphic to the side, you will see that there are still some white areas left. Press with the right mouse button on it and select ungroup. Now you can delete the white areas. We need the graphic as an outline, therefore remove the fill color and choose the color black for the outline. Now you can save the graphic as usual. In the next window you have to select Illustrator version number 8, because it is the only version that is supported by Cinema 4D. Now we come to the second part of the video, insert the Illustrator file by drag and drop into the program. Then select Extrude from the top bar to create a 3D object. For offset select 0.1 cm. So that the pages are regularly divided into segments, we still have to adjust the spline. At intermediate points you select Subdivided. At angle you take 5 degrees and at maximum length 0.01. If you use your own objects, you have to adjust the values by trial and error until the distance between the segments is even. Now we go back to extrude and go to the menu item caps. At bevel shape choose round and at size 0.01 cm. At caps type select regular grid and check the box quad dominant. You have to adjust the size value until you see a square segment grid on the surface. In my case it is 0.01 cm. Make a backup copy here, select one of the 3D objects, press with the right mouse button and choose connect plus delete. Now we come to the fluid animation. For this we need the form deformer. Place the deformer under the 3D object. Press the fit to parent button. Then we change the effect direction to Z radial. Inside the formula you can strengthen the effect. I set the last value to 0.9. So that the effect does not look so monotonous, I animate the deformer box. Go to the coordinates. Set the slider to the beginning of the animation and set a keyframe for all rotation directions. Then move the slider to the end of the animation. Enter new values for the rotation, but don't make them too high because the animation is only 3 seconds long. I choose the values 50, 30 and 50 and set another keyframe. The animation is ready. Now we come to the material, double click to create a new material. We only need the reflectance channel. Press the button remove and then add and insert a new Beckman layer. At roughness you choose 15 and at specular strength you set the value to 100%. The first material is ready, you can drag it onto the tribal. Now select sky in the top bar. So that we can see something, we have to create a new material. Drag it to the sky. Here we only need the luminance channel. Under texture you can insert a picture of your choice. I choose an old graphic from me. At Patreon you can find the complete project file, I link you the account in the caption. 
To get more reflections on the tribal I animate the sky. Select sky and go to the menu item coordinates. Set a keyframe at rotation H by pressing on the point. Then move the animation slider to the end of the animation. Enter 360 degrees and press the point again. Now the sky rotates once around its own axis. To make the animation run in the same speed you have to select Tim Line F Curve in the top bar window. Select the sky curve and press the linear button. Now we come to the render settings. Under render or select physical. Choose a suitable format and select frame range all frames. So that we don't see the sky during rendering, we have to set the following three hooks under save. That's it, the animation is ready to render. In the next part of the video I will show you how I edit the animation with Adobe After Effects. Paste the PNG sequence into Adobe After Effects. It can happen that the graphic is displayed darker than it actually is. This is due to the gamma value. To fix this problem search for color and gamma conversion in the effects window. Under Gamma Conversion select Linear to sRGB. Then look for the effect Hue slash Saturation. Under Master Saturation select the value 30. Then duplicate the layer and set the blending mode to Multiply. Press the T key and set the opacity to 20%. After that we search for the effect Edge Glow. For the value edge detect choose 150. Now I work with overlays, set a background of your choice, I created a suitable gradient with Photoshop. After that I set a star animation and a destroy overlay and set the blending mode to lighten. Finally I put a fog overlay and set the blending mode to screen. Finally I search for the effect tint to adjust the white tones to the blue in the background. With the key T I reduce the transparency to 50%. Now we make a prefect loop out of the animation. For this we press command plus A in the plane window and then we click with the right mouse button and choose pre-compose. Then we press the right mouse button in the preview window and select composition settings. There we increase the animation duration. Then we duplicate our composition. There we press with the right mouse button on it, go to time and select time reverse layer. Now the composition runs backwards and can be moved to the end of the animation. The animation is ready, well done Arties, thanks for the positive feedback. When I have 10,000 followers I will get a camera and a mic. At the moment I don't earn any money with this yet, therefore I am happy about every support. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1 to 2 tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.